Hey, what's going on, CoinOp TV subscribers? Robert Welkner here, and in this video, I want to do a review of another Shaw Brothers classic. This time it's called Clan of the White Lotus, also known as Fist of the White Lotus. This is from 1980. I have the Blu ray here from 88 Films. Great looking cover and packaging, a little slipcase there. I'll talk about the Blu-ray and give my letter grade shortly at the end of this uh, video. So make sure you stick around for that. There's some spoilers also. So Clan of the White Lotus, 1980, directed by actor and director, martial arts uh, coordinator, I guess, Lo Lei, uh, who I'm quickly becoming more of a Lo Lei fan watching some of these early 1960s movies in the Shout, Shout Factory box set that was released uh, about a month ago. So um, I'm on Team Lole here with uh, some of his early movies. Uh, and it's great to see him directing and playing the villain. Um, let's see, the IMDb synopsis is very brief on this. The monk Hung Wen Ting fights against evil priest White Lotus. I think that's kind of it. It's basically that. But so much more going on to this movie to appreciate and love. So Gordon Liu as Hung Wen Ting takes on the white priest Lotus, played by Lo Lei, who just ca casually, you know, has the, the chin with the beard, the, the hair, and he does the hand and he just plays this villain uh, to such an nth degree in this movie that it's such a, a thrill and a treat to watch. Uh, the film is kind of a little bit of a loose follow-up or semi-sequel to the 1977 film Executioners from Shaolin and also a little bit of the flavor from the 1979 film Abbot of Shaolin, which I also reviewed on my YouTube channel as well. So check that out, which they're also two great films. So if you're watching this as a trilogy, you're in for a treat. Uh, lowly murders uh, Gordon Liu's brother and friends and uh, Gordon Liu tries to avenge them but can't best uh, the white priest's kung fu which has he uses kind of this golden skin it's kind of impenetrable um, it has seems to have no weaknesses it repels oncoming attacks and um, he it's just badass overall all around it, you know when it comes to the shot of his top villains the white priest, uh, the P lotus priest, whatever you want to call him, is one of the, the tops there. So uh, with the help of his sister-in-law, played by the beautiful and talented Kara Wei, he's able to develop a kung fu style that is able to penetrate the white lotus priest's armor and beat him in a match. And uh, it's the, the, the music, the choreography, the cinematography, everything here is just working. It's all, it's all, great and um i can't believe i'm even reviewing this movie i almost feel like this is a given that if you're a fan of shaw brothers and martial arts movies you've probably seen this already but you know it's always fun to sort of talk it out and see see what our thoughts are on this movie top uh, just top notch storytelling here with excellent hero excellent villain um let me look over at the blu-ray again here from 88 i'm not sure if this is out of print or not it says limited edition on the slipcase and booklet uh, restored HD mastered. Uh, we get the subtitles, the dubs. What do we got? Are there special features? I feel like there should be a commenter or something like that, but I'm not seeing that listed on here. So you'll have to check out and see if there's a commentary or interviews and things like that. So uh, letter grade, I'm going to give this an A if you didn't think already that it would be an A. It's rewatchable, it's fun, it's um, Feels like it deserves to be in everybody's collection, so let a grade A. Let me know what your thoughts are on Clan of White Lotus, aka Fist White Lotus, and uh, what your thoughts are, and if uh, what the next Shaw Brothers movie is that you want to see me tackle in these reviews. I'm trying to churn these out as fast as I can. So thanks a bunch for watching. Going up TV. We'll see you next time.